Um, my name is Michelle, and I lost my mom to cholangiocarcinoma, which is a rare form of bile duct cancer, in 2007, which happened to be two weeks before my freshman year at Vanderbilt. Um, I'm from Massachusetts, and upon ri arriving in Nashville, um, I didn't know a single soul and was really left all by myself kind of to deal with my grief. And um, thankfully, someone referred me to Gilda's Club, and it was here that I learned about all the amazing services they have to offer. So initially when I arrived back in 2007, they didn't have a young adult grieving the loss of a parent group. And so the way that I really became involved was through participating in Gilda's Gang. And in 2008, I ran my very first half marathon, which was incredible and crazy. And I still can't believe that I really decided to do it because I was that kid that always cheated in gym class and wrote myself a note to excuse myself out of having to walk the mile. But it was absolutely amazing. Um, then I did it again in 2009, and after the half marathon in 2009, I met a guy named Mo who um, was a cancer survivor and had lost a bone in his leg for reconstruction surgery and really wanted to do a half in the future. So or he had been training for a half marathon when he was diagnosed with his cancer. So I told him I would push him in, the wheel in a wheelchair the following year, and in 2010, I organized a team to push him in the half marathon, which was the most incredible experience I've had thus far with Gilda's gang, and my favorite half marathon thus far. Um, we did it again in 2011, and then in 2012, Mo actually passed away the Tuesday before the half marathon, at that point, I was living back in Massachusetts, and um, I flew down for the half, and we all pushed the empty wheelchair with a t-shirt that had a picture of Mo on it um, in the half marathon, which was really, it was really hard and really difficult. Um, this is my first year being back at Gilda's with Gilda's gang without having Mo, and it's kind of been really hard in the mornings because he used to be there Saturday mornings, sitting at the front desk, greeting everyone, saying, hi, good morning, put your keys in the basket, sign back in, sign in, like, and he would just be really fun talking to people. Um, and it's been really challenging, but I'm really glad to be back with Gilda's gang. I think one of the most incredible things about Gilda's to me is that it's a support for everyone regardless of where you are in the process. There's people who've been diagnosed with cancer that are going through treatment. There's people that are in remission. There's family members who have people in their family that have cancer, or there's people that have lost people to cancer. But there's never a time where you're not welcome at Gilda's. They always have open arms, always ready to give you a hug, and there's always support groups and art workshops and things you can participate in. And so it's something that they understand that it's always going to be a part of your life and that there's always a support there for you. And I think that's my favorite thing about Gilda's and I just know that everyone here is always for me and they're a huge reason why I moved back to Nashville this year. So I love it.